Welcome, fellow anglers, to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I am Captain Ryan Van Fleet, your host here in the Florida Keys. Each week, I bring you fishing tips, stories, gear reviews, and more to help you maximize your fishing trip, catch big fish, and overall have fun. I recently heard a story while sitting at a guide buddy's house that was very disturbing. His neighbor came over, and he sat down with us at the table, then proceeded to tell us about what he witnessed while fishing in the Gulf a few weeks ago. He explained that while he was anchored up Spanish mackerel fishing, he witnessed a group of guys drinking beer and tossing the empties overboard. Now, his neighbor got furious, so he approached the boat and asked the guys to keep the bottles in the boat. He said he did this politely. Now, I talked to the guy, and I strongly believe that he was telling me the truth. Um, The guys drinking beer, of course, got really loud with him and started throwing out the curse words as expected. Most goons like this, when you call them out about some, doing something wrong on the water, have only one reply. You don't own the ocean. You don't own the ocean. Get out of here. It's the oldest reply there is for when you call somebody out on the water that's doing something wrong. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. Um, I had to stop and think at this point. This past year, I did witness more trash in the water. Mostly water bottles floating inside Tavernier Creek on my way home on the weekend and more plastic bags. Now, when I'm catching a piece of plastic on the troll every time I fish, that's a sign. Mostly I see plastic water bottles, beer cans, and bottles, liquor bottles, and plastic pieces from Ziploc bags and grocery store bags. Now, I I usually try to stop if it's safe to pick this stuff up up myself, but sometimes I cannot. Obviously, as you all know, this is not good for the environment or any sort of wildlife. My wife, um, she travels a lot for work and consistently tells me the same thing. She even sees a car stop at the light in Homestead, Florida, upon entering the keys on US-1. The driver literally, literally opened the door and he placed a pizza box on the road and then drove off. Phew, it just, that drives me crazy. Now, folks are just, she also says that she sees it all the time. Folks are just putting their windows down and throwing the trash out the window. My wife and I grew up with this old um, owl commercial. It's, it's, I think his name was Woodsy the Owl or Hooty the Owl, but the, the phrase I remember on Saturday morning television when I was a, when I was a youngster watching cartoons was, um, give a hoot, don't pollute. Now, I know I'm dating myself back, but I think we need to go back to that. Okay, my personal experience and a rant. As part of my safety speech, I now include what I call trash talk, meaning I tell my clients where to put the trash and where not to put the trash. Boating Etiquette 101, always ask the captain where to put the trash. Picking up your trash on the boat floor is not included in my charter price. (laughs) A captain is more than likely to welcome you back as a repeat client if you clean up after yourself and then go the extra distance for you on a slow day if you're respectful. It's the little things, like picking up after yourself. Just recently, I had two older guys that had fished with me before. I allowed them back on a second charter, thinking their habits would change or be different if I just now tell them where to put the trash and where not to put the trash. So I went through the spiel, I went through what I call the trash talk spiel, like I mentioned earlier. We got into the charter. They completely ignored me and continued to throw the trash on the floor. I expected bit better behavior from South Florida residents, but no. I tried to let it go until I tripped on one of their soda cans and nearly fell you know, flat on my face on the, on the floor of the boat. Now... These are older guys, and I kept telling them, and they, you know, they kept telling me how many years of fishing experience they had. Now, just think of how much trash these guys have tossed in the ocean over the years. I had another couple a few months ago, same thing, how were these people raised? They won't be welcome back either. 
Just saying. Now, here's a little tip when booking a charter, or if you're planning a charter fishing trip anywhere in the world. If you are not polite and not respectful of the captain's boat, you will probably go on his naughty list (laughs) and get forwarded to his voicemail. And if he or she decides to take you out again, your catch rate, depending on the captain, may not be the best. I have horror stories about people trashing my boat and their food and garbage just tossed on the floor of the boat. So many, it's not worth, um, not even worth talking about. And most are from South Florida, which still amazes me. South Florida, these people grew up on the water. <laughs> what? WTF, right? It's crazy. So the guy that stopped the beer cans, this, you know, basically what he did, he put the beer can on the floor, full beer can, and decides he's just going to crush him with his foot and throw him in the corner of my boat. That guy is definitely on the naughty list. I wish I would have had a video of that. I just couldn't believe what this guy was doing. So, anyways, uh, sorry, I'm just keeping it real with no filter today. So, as you can tell, trash and even trash stories has always been a pet peeve of mine. I hated bringing garbage sacks or even plastic bags that contain trash in because guess what? That's what I'm seeing floating in the water. And I hate putting trash in my, in my cabin or using buckets to contain trash. Now, I solved this problem when I got my first caddy can. Now, it's been, it's been probably over a year now. I can't remember the exact dates. My good buddy actually received it as swag and gave it to me. So, heck, I thought I'd give it a try and, and see how it worked. It you know, looked cool, and it, it uh, doesn't take up a ton of space. Now, listen to my podcast on how to find the best fishing product on, uh, the best fishing products on Instagram. It will explain how I test products b- before I review them. So what is a caddy can? In September, our local Keys newspaper pub- published a great article about, a, about the product that I have been using to store trash on Good Karma. The people that invented the caddy can are part-time residents of Key Largo, and they were seeing the same thing. Marine trash is a problem. The article talks about how they were looking for solutions to store trash, like I was. Then even tried garbage cans like myself. Now, they took it a step further, and then they invented the caddy can. All right, so the the description of the caddy can was published in the Florida Keys Free Press article on September 26, 2019. It was written by Kevin Wadlow. Uh, The caddy can... This is, I'm just going to read it exactly how he wrote it. Um, It's a great article that Kevin wrote. Uh, The Caddy Can is a flexible, lightweight, and weathertight container with a 3.2 gallon capacity. The zippered top has a self closing opening that allows easy disposable of cans, water bottles, or fishing line. The Caddy Can keeps trash out of sight and safely away from the water. Now, Features include a heavy 600 polyester fabric exterior and a quick clean vinyl liner. The interior compression coil helps keep the caddy cans 13 by 13 and a half, 14 inch shape. Uh, the adjust- it has adjustable Velcro straps and plastic strips that allow it to be quickly attached just about to just about anywhere on the boat. Even if the caddy can goes overboard, this is really cool. The interior flotation device will keep it afloat for retrieval. Okay, so here's my review of the caddy can. It works great. (laughs) Can't say enough. Mine, um, I think mine lasted a little over a year, almost two years. Um, I literally put the original one through hell and back. The zippers did fall off and the color faded, the exterior color faded, but the Velcro they use is badass. Um, it, it kept its shape. Uh, the can itself is very durable, but um, it got to looking pretty crumpy on my boat um, because it was outside 365 days a year. So I, I broke down and ordered um, two new caddy cans and just got them in the mail. I ordered them through their website. I bought two as I need two in the summer months as people drink a lot more water during these months. I also put um, I also put chum liners and cardboard containers in these bags, in in the in the second bag. This time around, um, I'm going to try and get the 
get the caddy can to last at least three years by doing a little bit more preventative maintenance to it. In other words, I need to take better care of it. Uh, every so often, um, I've, I'm going to detail the caddy can. How am I going to do that? Uh, treat the zippers um, of the caddy can with, um, in, in, with um, in my opinion, the best rust prevention product um, on the market for marine uh, called Corrosion Block. You can buy it from any marine store. I purchased mine from True Value in uh, Tavernier. Uh, I use it on basically everything, zippers, uh, windless anchor, cushions, downriggers, and more. Now, by treating the zippers, they'll withstand the harsh, salty environment, and they're going to last a lot longer. Uh, next, I'm going to treat the exterior with a marine product called Starbright Waterproofing with PTF. Uh, this this is going to help that fabric um, last longer and maintain its color by um, you know the the waterproofing product. It helps prevent uh, water damage over time, and it gives it that little bit of little bit of protect, protection of the um, against that harsh UV light that causes the fading. Um, I use this stuff on my sea deck every couple months. I buy it at West Marine. It costs about thirty bucks. Now. I didn't do this preventative maintenance with my first caddy can. I wish I would have, but um, this time around, I want this one to last longer. Now, to be honest, it was a tough purchase, as it's not a priority. So I want them to last. So I, I don't want to have to buy another one for a long time. I'm going to take very good care of the ones I just bought so they last longer. I just recently ordered two more. As my old one, like I said, it was tired. You know, it just looked really crumpy. But to be honest, it was still functioning. So it was still working nice. <laughs> still maintaining trash, held together. It just had the zipper and the color faded. So like I said, it looked, um, it wasn't the best looking. Now, since I run a charter, I always try to keep things updated for clients. And just to note, this is not a paid advertisement. This is a legit review. They don't even know that I'm doing it. Now, ordering information. Now, the cost for a large can is um, $49.99. I purchased mine through the website, uh, www.caddycan.com. They, they do offer a smaller size for $39.99. Um, but... I would, um, if you're curious about what the, you know, how they, what they look like, and you want to get a hold of them, I'm sure they're going to be coming to a boat show near you this spring. So be on the lookout for them. And guys, let's do our part to not pollute. It's just not good karma. Thanks for listening. And as always, please let me know if you have any questions. You can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. I'm going to be doing a question and answer podcast, so definitely email me. You can also find me on Facebook at Good Karma Fishing Charters, Instagram at Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys, and please also share this podcast with a fellow angler and check out my website, goodkarmasportfishing.com, and sign up for my monthly newsletter and free fishing tips. I aim to provide you with fishing tips and information so you can make the best out of your time fishing. Thanks for listening, and remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.